Right, it was requested that I review Guard Chaser and Mast Rider Common, I'm sorry, Mast Rider G3X. Um, these are from the show Common Rider Agito, which I have never seen and I know nothing about. Um, but I do have these figures and they're really cool. Kind of a plain box. Um, pictures of some of the accessories or cares. G3X's box. It's also similar designs, slightly plain. Not much more to it. G3X comes with all this that you see here. And I don't know what a lot of it is, or what it's called, I guess. And Guard Chaser comes with this. Now, Guard Chaser is long out of print and pretty hard to get a hold of now. Um, but I was able to get it for a decent price thanks to Chukin Shinobi, I believe. Go check out his channel. Uh, let's start with the bike. Comes with a Tamashi stage. And I believe this is an Act 3. And I know that because the arm comes apart. And frankly, I don't like it. So it just stays in the box. Because if I wanted to stand, I would use an Act 4. Or possibly now an. Uh, is it called an Act uh, DX? Or EX, rather? From the Saint Seiya line? But the base is neat. It's black with a really, really, really kind of hard to see um, blue outline of G3 on the bike. Or G3X on the bike. And it says Guard Chaser. So here's the bike. This is an older bike, so it's got a lot of die cast. I think this entire engine block that you can kind of see in there is metal. And it's heavy. And this thing is weighty. I happen to have my scale right here. Let's see how much it weighs for the fun of it. It weighs almost 12 ounces. Um, <clears throat> it's a police bike, because I guess G3 and G3X are police guys. I don't know. It's got spinning wheels. They might be rubbery. It's got, um, whatever you call it, a spring in there, so we can bounce. It does not have a little clear stand like the other bikes I've reviewed have, and I do not have one right here with me, so if you want to pose it with the kickstand up, um, I guess you could use the stage it comes with, or you could steal one of the stands from a new, new, later bike. It also has a bunch of opening compartments, like one right here. And another one right here. And two right here. Maybe I should have pulled out G3X first so that we could see if any of his accessories fit in there. Let's grab this thing. Oh, it's not going to fit. But it looks like it should, and it almost does. But not quite. But you could store G3X's extra hands and the small accessories in there if you wanted. Um, this one also opens. And there's some detail in there. Uh, the detail on this bike is really good. Check out the engine. Oh, hey, I forgot this bike, this uh, camera. Can do this. Zoom. Check out those engine details. Oh, then it's not in focus. Um, let's pause and go into macro mode. There we go. Check out all the nice engine details on there. A little light on the gas tank. There's a little symbol of some kind in there. I still can't tell what it says. 
Um, there's even a map on the console and buttons and that's kinda cool. So that's pretty much G the bike, Guard Chaser. It's cool. If you can get it for a good price, I recommend it. Um, seems like it goes for around 60 or 70 on Mandarake. But I got it for cheaper than that. G3X comes with all this neat stuff. It's going to fall out because I took the lid off. This dude is super detailed. Check out all the rad details on him. He's got a sort of a law enforcement badge on his chest. It says G3X. Lots of lots of lines and sculpted detail on his armor. Uh, he comes with a bunch of hands. He's got punching things fists for you know fighting monsters. I don't even know what the monsters are called in Agito. They're not. They're related to the Grongi somehow. I don't know. I'll watch Agito someday. Who cares? He's got uh, a pair of these open gesturing come and get me hands. I don't know. One for each side. He's got two trigger finger extended holding hands. Gun holding hands. Which is convenient because he comes with a gun that I must have dropped on the floor. Oh, here it is. Comes with a neat little gun, blaster. More about that later. So a pair of those hands and a pair of bike holding hands. Which means he can ride his bike. And, full disclosure, I have never attempted this before. Some of them, some of the other riders, have not fit on their bikes super well. And they've taken some work to get ready so I could put it on camera. This guy, he's got little skirt flaps that are soft. Soft-ish, so they get out of the way. But as you can see, that one's not coming back down. <clears throat> because the way I've had him posed on the shelf, apparently, he's been flexing that out. And now it's staying out more. Um, so will he ride it? That is the question. And rather than make a fool of myself on camera, I should pause it. But I'm not going to. Come on, get on there. Well. <clears throat> Oops. So he kind of fits on the bike. Kind of like double, you have to pull his arms way forward so his shoulders look all weird. Um, where he's kind of levitating. But from the front, yeah. does that look as weird to you as it does to me because his shoulders? There we go, that's a little better. So, yeah, he fits on the bike all right. His feet don't quite line up. His butt doesn't quite sit on the seat. But from that angle, it looks all right. So that's how I'll display him. So, I popped a kneecap off. Who cares? Uh, what's this guy's name? G3X. Comes with a little short dagger thingy. And a long extended dagger thingy. I don't know how that works, but that's cool. The small one can store right there on his arm. That's cool. He also comes with a baton, which looks like it's supposed to be the handlebar for Guard Chaser. That's where Kuga got his stick for his sword. He pulled the, handle, the grip right out of the handlebar. This also comes with an extended mode. Ta-da! Neat. The handlebar can also store... I don't remember which way it's supposed to go. I could look at the instructions, but that would be like giving up. Let's say it goes that way. Clips right onto his leg. On his other leg, he's got a little tab. It's meant for slot in his gun. So we can just peg right onto there. 
So he can hold his gear. Except for the extended versions, obviously. And I always like that. Let's put the kneecap back on, because don't want to lose that. Figure Arts Posability, which means it's really good and does everything you could possibly ever want it to do. Including if you're clever, you can make a balance on one foot. Even because the feet are die cast, so they have pretty good anchoring. Because uh, that's going to look good on display like that. Um, this pistol. I'm pretty sure the scope comes off, doesn't it? Ta-da! Scope pops off, and the scope can go into this thing, which can fold up into a suitcase, I guess, that he can carry. Or then unfold into a little minigun. Multi-barreled minigun thingy. And I'm... I'm going to have to get out the instructions. I thought the scope could go on here. It's not all unfolded all the way. This slides out. Ta-da! That uncovers the slot. The scope fits on. And clearly I don't know which way it goes on. And I think the pistol attaches to it somehow too. Like that. So you can hold it two-handed. One hand down here and one hand up here. Additionally, there's something else that fell out of the package. A little red thing. Which can plug into... Can it plug into both? Nope. But it can plug onto that one. And it's like he's got a big old bazooka. Ah. I just ripped off his shoulder pad. Apparently the guns don't quite stay in this hand as tightly as I would prefer, since it keeps falling out every time I move something. Come on, there we go. G3X. The big gun thing. Um, I actually really like the sword or dagger thing and Billy Club. I like the idea of him two handing those to try and beat up on whatever came after Grongi. Um, one final thing I picked up a an effects set by, I believe it was Koto Bukia for their MGS, MSG line of uh, model kits and one of them is a trigger bl or a gun blast thing it comes with two of these and this has a little hole in there so it can fit onto guns and it just so happens that the small one because it comes with a big one too fits onto this pretty great Like snugly even. So G3X can now have little gun gun barrel effects. Flame effects, what do you want to call it? So all in all, this is a fun guy. And I highly recommend him. He's super detailed and a lot of fun to pose. The joints are all good and snug. Even if he's got these shoulders designs that I pull they tend to want to go down and look a little goofy, but unlike doubles, they they will stay up when you put them up. So go get this guy to have him fight all your whatever monsters are attacking your figures. And get the, the bike too, because a common Rider needs his bike. And thanks for watching. And one more thing about Guard Chaser. The windshield pops off. What's up with that? Why? What purpose does that serve?